This is an update of the Bassmaster Elite Series rookie that was disqualified, JT Tompkins. Thought this would be fair to do a video because he posted a video on his social media and I thought it would it be it was only right to do a quick video, allow you to see what he says, and then we can go from there. But to be honest and a little foreshadowing, I think there's a lot more to this story that needs to come out. And you need to remember that he is not allowed to be to disparage bass at all but there's something to be said for his video and where do we go from here and if you missed the first video go check that out but bass disqualified him because of the c3 2 code and the c3 14 policy in their rules and regulations All right, guys, as y'all guys have seen, Bass has made a decision to disqualify me from the most recent tournament at St. Lawrence River for seemingly to have fail a polygraph that was presented to me. And as we all know, these polygraphs aren't exactly 100% accurate. And I am fully confident that I didn't do anything wrong or break any rules for this tournament. I don't know if it was the pressure of the Rookie of the Year race, Angler of the Year race, and just being the last tournament of the year and also being a body water I spent a lot of time on and not doing you know as well as I wanted to and I think all that may have presented a false positive and the questions that they did flag me for were getting waypoints or exact locations to a the air the body of water that I was on that are publicly available and also viewing social media in order to gain advantage over the rest of the field for that body of water during the tournament I did neither of those things I have been very careful with everything, with conversations with anybody I've had to not talk about this body of water. I have, you know, worked with my dad for the last 22 years. We've shared everything, you know, as a father and son do, especially one that has a father that has been so into the fishing game for so long. But I, as an elite, I've had to sacrifice that. And I haven't been able to talk about what we've wanted to talk about for years. And also with the social media thing, I've done the same thing everybody else does, is go on there and watch your fellow competitors you know their fish catches and I was also on Fox on day one I watched some of my fish catches and of course you know I guess that was one of the things they they said I failed and I don't think I did I don't think I did it to gain a competitive advantage on day two I made a 102 mile run to an area where there was as far as I know no you know videos posted in that area it was a complete decision off of you know I feel like that was the best way for me to catch a bag to make a comeback and you know, that is kind of where we're at right now. There has still been no proof or evidence provided to say that I've done something wrong. And the little bit of evidence that they did have, it came out not to be true. The reason why I was protested. And so that's, that's the thing right now. You know, there's, there's just no evidence. And, you know, in a court of law, a polygraph doesn't hold any authority to anything. And I think in this case, it doesn't either. So... You know we're gonna go on as and, and 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 see what happens over the next few days and you know have some conversations hope that the right decisions are made we're gonna have and hope that you know bass makes the right decision going on in the future and i appreciate all the support from everybody who's reached out and texted me and um supported me because everyone that knows me knows that i have no intentions to cheat there's a reason i'm on the water as much as i am it's, it's so that i don't have to there's no reason for me to ask questions about a place that i I feel confident that I know everything I need to know about to be able to do well enough in these tournaments. So I appreciate all the support. This is the update I wanted to give y'all and thank you guys for watching. Now, what do you think? What should we believe? First and foremost, Bass disqualified him. So he didn't get to fish day three or four if he would have qualified for four. But they made the decision that he did not pass that polygraph. It would be interesting to see what the questions were and how they were worded and then go from there. But he believes he did nothing. And I think there's, I think we need to know more information. I don't know if we'll get more information from Bass, but hopefully JT can come on at some point in time and tell us more about the questions and other things. I did reach out to him. I don't know if he'll reply to me, but we'll see. But what do you think? Comment below and tell me what you think. Is he right? Is he wrong? Did we jump to conclusions? But I needed to make this video just to be whole. But comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you very, very soon. Cheers and thanks.